popular YouTuber DugDug, who is good at 2D platformers, challenged me to beat this level which is really hard. He used his expertise to pick this one from a list of levels, so I took on his challenge and I'll show how I was able to beat it. So this level features the propeller box power-up, which allows Mario to fly up and drill down. And by making precise jumps, I can make it to the top of the level. Here, I drill down into a POW block so it opens the path and also resets my flight. The lights on the propeller box indicate how many more times I can fly up, and when I run out of flight, I have to touch the ground to get it back. So I wall jump off the switching spikes to land on these flying blocks and reset my flight. Now here, I kick this shell to break this block and then these boxes, and the path opens up for the swamp to rush towards me, and it pushes this spring enemy so I can bounce up to the next section. The spikes on the ceiling force me to drill down before I hit them, which makes this part very precise. I time my flight and drills perfectly and stall until I can land on the bullet launchers. And now in this part, I line Mario up with this bob -omb to kick it into the clear pipe, and it breaks the block so I can land on this bullet launcher. Hitting this block pushes the tornado so I can regain flight midair, and I hit this block so I can do the same thing as before as I stall out the P-Switch timer so that these brick blocks turn back to coins and I can pass through them. I grab a mushroom so I'm able to break this block and bump the box to use as a platform, and after I regain flight, I can fly up here and drill down to the pipe before the thwomp crushes me. It leads to the flagpole, and I became the first person to complete the level. It turns out there's a lot of debate regarding whether or not Dug Dug is actually good at 2D platformers, so maybe I'll have to make a level for him to prove himself. But anyway for now, whenever I achieve something like beating a hard level, I like to celebrate by putting something up on my wall that symbolizes my achievement. So since I beat Dug Dug's challenge, I put Dug Dug on my wall.